More species swim, crawl, slither, buzz, and grow in the Peruvian Amazon than just about anywhere else on the planet. But Maria Gloria Dominguez Bello is here to explore an ecosystem no less diverse, the human body. Thousands of species of microbes live in and on each one of us, and Maria Gloria is part of a revolutionary new quest to understand what they all do. The Chicherta are one of dozens of remote Amerindian tribes that have inhabited the Amazon for millennia. While missionaries have made their way here over the years, providing modern clothing and limited supplies, the Chicherta rarely, if ever, confronted antibiotics, touched antibacterial soaps, or breathed conditioned air. As a result, their microbiomes are relatively pristine, and the team is anxious to see what they're made of. In the last century, we in the Western countries have really done a lot to change our microbes. Chlorination of water, antiseptics, antibiotics, cesarean sections. All of these things have a bearing on the composition of our microbes. The microbes inside us aren't a fixed population. Closet wall floor. They're affected by our lifestyles. Everything from what we eat to where we sleep to how much fresh air we're exposed to. The scientists swab for DNA on everything, from beds to cooking surfaces to cups. By then combining the data with things like humidity, temperature, and airflow, they can determine which bacteria like living where and how we in the developed world may be changing them. That was number eight. In New York, people live maybe 99% of their time indoors. In control environments, everything is clean with uh, bleach, and we use soaps and antibacterials, and so we really are giving our microbes a pretty artificial lifestyle. Here, what we expect to find is that they will have much more environmental microbes in their skin, especially soil. They may be more tolerant to all these environmental microbes because they have a good trained immune system. If the team finds that the Chicherta's way of living, open spaces, natural ventilation, lots of sunlight, fosters healthier microbes than cleansers and air filtration systems, that's an easy fix. We can cut back on hand sanitizers, perhaps, and open some windows. With any luck, in these vials, Maria Gloria may just have what she needs to start putting the pieces together.